In this video, we're going to look at the reverse delay in the new firmware update 2.1. All right, so let's get right into it here. And what we have is a delay, sync, feedback, low cut, high cut, mix, and tails off. So we're going to turn those tails on. And let's turn the mix up pretty good so we can hear it. And let's keep the low and high cuts the same for now. And our feedback does go all the way up to 100%, unlike the other one, which was only 65%. So if you want to keep it around 65, that seems to be a good level to where it still feeds back nice and long, but you're just not running away from itself. So, okay. Now, once again, the power is going to lie within the presets here. So let's go to a quick answer and see what that does. All right, we have the feedback all the way down. The low and high cuts are adjusted a little bit, and the mix is adjusted as well. So let's do a little bit more playing here. sounds really cool let's actually turn up our reverb and let's get that into the mix here so all right that is just too fun all right let's go back to our reverse delay and let's choose a different preset I really like the presets because if you don't know how to use an effect just yet, at least this gives you a starting place that should sound pretty good. So let's go to filtered and this is going to cut our low end up to 500 hertz and it's going to lower our high end down to around 2K. All right, just below 2K. Let's turn off the reverb. All right, cool. Let's go to Elade, which is a reverse of a reverse or something. I don't know, it's weird. All right. <laughs> Turn that off. I hear some people reference Friptronics, which is maybe a way of doing reversed kind of stuff. So this may be the effect for you if you want to try out some of those things called Friptronics, which I'm not really familiar with, but um, some people out there are. So this might be something really cool that you can try out. And I'm gonna raise the feedback up a little bit here. Cool. Add some reverb. All right. Let's do one more preset here. Let's do an ambient and see what it has this set at. So we got the feedback up pretty high. The high cuts down around 9K and the mix is about 30%. All right, let's check it out. And then when you turn the reverse delay off, it obviously keeps going because the tails are engaged there on the bottom. 
okay? That's even gonna work if you switch between different scenes or between different rigs. So, pretty powerful stuff, guys. I like that a lot. I've actually been requesting that one for a long time. So now we have it, and I can sleep uh, soundly tonight knowing that I have that effect. <laughs> This is a whole series about the firmware 2.1 update and just going through all the new features. And thanks guys for watching. So I am Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking.